Ornithopter? What? What the heck does that mean? Well, for those folks who didn't take science or physics, that term is referring to a flapping wing aircraft. The first ornithopter was invented back in 1485 by the Italian Leonardo da Vinci. You know, many different types of ornithopters were invented, some successful even today. But in the model aircraft world, they have not been the most reliable or predictable of a flying machine as I ever thought they would be. I've actually had several RC versions and not the, including the Cybird, the Firebird, the uh, French Bird, and let's see, but I can't think of the other one, and then this Go Go Bird. Well, this is the first flying bird that I ever had. Uh, I've had several of these actually. They were invented and made in France. It has an on off switch here. This is made in Marcel. It has a crank on the back, so what you do is you wind up the rubber band in there. do this quickly. Also you can adjust the tail from this ball leg and when you let it go. But it never flew very far but it did prove the point. Now you're probably wondering why I picked this one. Well first of all it has four wings. That's intriguing. Which when flapping actually squash the air out the back which gives a very good forward flight and pretty ingenious. It also has program flying. It'll fly in figure eights and circles and stuff. It also is 2.4 gigahertz and has obstacle avoidance. Obstacle avoidance? Woohoo, that sounds pretty intriguing. Just what I need. First, I'm going to show you the box opening because you're going to want to see how it comes, how to get it out of the box, and you're going to want to keep the bird in the box and you're not using it. And then we're going to fly it inside and out. So come along and enjoy the fun. Okay. Well, we have a Go Go Bird user manual. Oh boy. Yeah, this looks better. A quick start guide. Batteries on fly. That's good. All right, what do we got here? Get this thing out of here. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Not sure different than my side bird. That's very cool. Well, what else is in here? A screwdriver and a what's this? This must be the battery. Maybe I need the screwdriver to get the battery out. Hmm. There must be a way to get that battery out of there. Man, that is in there. That's a transmitter. I don't know. This is the battery. That's cute. Oh, and a battery charger. Well, okay, so we need to get some batteries and put in this thing, so. Okay, so when I turned on, put the batteries in, the green light comes on. So this one right here shuts it off. It says, oh, you got to hold it in. Okay. This makes it do circles this way. This makes it go circles that way. And this makes it do figure eights. <laughs> I'll believe that when I see that. And this, what does this do? Press once to start flapping wings. Press again to stop. Oh, this is getting complicated. I'm not used to this. Thumb flying. So, let's turn this on. And just see what happens when I turn this on now. Turn this on. Press once. On.
Oh. Okay, now. And if I press this one, it should start flapping. Oh, it did. Birdie. All right, let's put the battery on charge. Okay, the trick to getting the battery out here is you make sure you have your slotted screwdriver here and you just turn this and that little pin will drop down. Now you can reach the battery and pull that right straight out. Now the thing that's cool about this battery, they were thinking about it, it's an offset. You see the connector on there is offset. There are two connectors inside here. And so it doesn't matter whether you put the battery in this way or this way, it's always going to line up. So if I was to turn it around and try to plug it in this way, plugs right in. So that was pretty smart thinking, otherwise you'd be fighting that whole thing. So that's pretty ingenious. Well this thing has got some pretty interesting uh, things here. Oh. Very interesting. All right, what's next? Okay, it says that I can pull this tail in and out. So if it's in all the way, that's high speed flight and out just a little bit. That makes it uh, fly slower. That says speed up, slow down. Speed up, slow down. Oh, so once you press that button, you don't have to hold it. Move left, move right. Don't land on the roof. There is a little magnetic actuator in here. It's just not going to break. That's a really good idea. Oh, I see. And the way the obstacle avoidance works is the signal is transmitted here and received here. So when it sees something, it turns this. So I'm just going to show you how that works here. I'll turn this on. Pretty ingenious. Oh. <laughs> Okay, perfect landing. <laughs> All right. Turning off the flapping, then it dives and swoops when you turn it back on. <laughs> it does swoop when you do that. Well, I sure got the attention of the local B1RDs because they're chasing it. I'm figuring those two streamers hanging out the back are for some kind of stabilization. I'm going to cut them off and see how it flies that way for the next video, so stay tuned. I also want to note that the uh, transmitter is 2.4 gigahertz. That's really great because it never did go out of range and, you know, usually stuff like this is infrared and you can't fly them outside in the sun or under bright fluorescence so uh, th this is really set up pretty good you know I really like this scientific toy I mean really well if you do too click the like button if you don't mind and if you really don't like it then click the dislike button twice and tell me why so I can improve also thanks for watching and please subscribe by the way when you do make sure to click the bell then click the option all 
That will notify you when we make a new video. Well, one thing for sure is this bird flies a long time on that battery. I flew it over 10 minutes each flight and never did any tail servos break on landings like it did with my Cybirds, etc. This one really works. And you may already know, but those notifications will only show up in the bell if there are numbers on it. That's up at the right there on YouTube as they no longer <laughs> email that stuff. And thanks again to ILEA for the second camera. Thanks for watching, and God bless, folks. This is Dave the Knife Liar, signing off till next time.